Hi everybody, it's me, I'm back. I know it's late, but I have got two videos stored. I'm going to voice over this one, you can have it tonight. Do you know what I mean? Um, so this set, my client come in and she said, give me something neon. As soon as she said anything neon, I thought of Stacey Ward. Stacey Ward's nails, I think it's Stacey's nails she might be on here. Um, but it's Stacey Ward, nail artist. Um, she does loads of neon designs and literally they are bum so nice so as soon as she said that to me like i was like okay i've got some ideas but they were all ideas from stacy's nails so these nails have already been prepped i've got my forms on and as you can see i've put down a clear base layer of acrylic and um, the reason that i've sculpted that out first is because the powders that i'm using are the cjp um, neon collection and they are all design powders so they need a bit more strength adding to them um, I believe that this one's mango tango I might get some of these wrong but it is the neon collection anyway and they're all from CJP um, so on this one we're going to go in with we're going to call it mango tango because I'm not too sure um, and I'm just going to cover the tip and blend it down so I can do an ombre with that Okay, so now that's done, I'm going to go in with bubble gum on the tip of this one because this is also going to be ombre, and I definitely know that this is bubble gum pink from CJP. Definitely no, because I love this colour. It's so pretty. Um, I just want to say hi to all my new subscribers. Hello, I love you all. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I'm going to put up another video this week. And also this week I have been busy redoing my nail room. I've got a new desk, which is the bum. I love it. Um, and I've got lots of new nail stuff as well. So I might do sometime in the next couple of weeks um, a nail room tour, an updated version. There is one on my um, previous videos, but I will do another nail room tour so you can see how it has changed in the last year, which is quite a lot actually. Um, it has changed a lot, so I will be doing one of them sometime soon as well. So as you can see, I'm just popping that down and making sure that I've got full coverage, keeping my shape because I'm finickety like that. I don't like too much filing because I do everything with my hand files, so that's why I try and keep it all nice and tidy. These two nails will both be a mash. It's a mash up. This is Blueberry Glow, which is also from the Neon Collection from CJP. Um, I think next we're going to go in with the Mango Tango again and basically I'm just going to lay a really thin layer of all of these colours down, I'm not really caring where I'm putting them um, or how they look too much. I'm blending them in a bit and making sure that they're nice and flat and like snug to the nail because I do need to put in glitter flowers and then cap in clear so otherwise I'd end up with a really bulky nail. So I'm flattening them all out just swiping them down just literally the most random af design um because i looked at stacy's nails and i couldn't figure out exactly what was in there she had quite a lot going on um so i've just sort of yeah just collected together what looks like the right kind of thing and hopes for the best um i got a little bit of acrylic there on the form which i swipe off and this yellow is lemon fizz i'm pretty sure it's lemon fizz and then you've got the bubble gum as well which is also going on and i'm not too sure what i put at the bottom maybe a bit more yellow and a bit more orange yeah let's just pretend that that's what i'm about to do because i have no idea <laughs> uh, 
here yes i think this is a bit of yellow and then i'm literally going to go in with these glitters these glitters are from everywhere so i've used about four different glitters and they're all from different places so the places i use are diamond glitters um and the glitter planet and where else would they be from possibly angie um so angel glitter mats definitely that's where the flowers are from um i bought a couple of these glitters maybe from there as well so can't really name them all because i've had them all so long i just literally went on a mad hunt for all of the brightest glitters that i had and slung them on there so yeah that's what i did everything that i have used i will link in the box it will be tomorrow when i've linked it in because i'm not in my nail room at the moment so if i can find the names of some of these glitters um then i will link them but i will also link all of the websites that i do use there's also smiley's glitter store as well that i use i've forgotten that one um and for anyone who's wondering what brush i'm using it is the glitter bells i know everything that i use usually is from cjp but on this occasion I did buy this Glitter Bells brush um, the last time I shopped there and I am loving it, I can't lie, like it's so freaking nice, it's nice to look at, it's beautiful to work with, I absolutely love working with this brush um, and it's a size 10 Glitter Bells brush so that is what that is, so I'll link that as well. Um, you can see I'm just randomly dabbing glitters all over this nail like i'm trying to keep it nice and thin it is random most of these glitters are iridescent so it does shine through the color underneath so that's the whole point of putting them colors underneath um is because then you've got a nice background color or a nice background colors as the case may be uh, i really enjoyed doing these nails actually because like i love being set free and i like trying something new and every time i see stacy's i'm like i want to do this but i can never do them as good as her um but i was quite pleased with how these come out the flowers like i said are from angel glitter mats um she's got loads of stuff on her website you will also see if i used the did i use a flower prop i usually use a flower prop and a mat at the end of my videos to take pictures i may not have used it today because i was back to back with clients but that's where i get my props from is from angel glitter mats as well so i'll link her um facebook page i know she's in the middle of making a website but she hasn't quite got there yet um so i'll just link a facebook page you can order from there and you can see everything she's got from there as well so i've just popped down a tiny bit of clear acrylic and i'm just dabbing them flowers on and then i'm going to go in and i'm going to cap this whole nail in clear my clear is clear ice from cjp as per usual and the monomer that i'm using is also cjp and i cap this nail i'll do it in two halves i'll go over the bottom of that petal and then yeah so in the middle and then sort of pat that out blend it down um one i'm sure is it this flower that moved it might have been on the other hand actually but the flower moved so i had to sort of dig it back in and then recap it it was a bit of a nightmare my second bead is going at the cuticle so you brush behind the bead and then put a little bit of pressure on that bead to pull it down and then swipe it simple you've got your nice apex there as well then um, and just swipe and blend the rest of that bead down nicely and then i'll probably just add a little bit more at the end there just to make sure that that flower is completely covered because i don't want to file any of that flower away at the tip so once again don't hold me to this but i think that this is birthday soup by cjp it's one of the nudes i can't remember i opened my drawer i drag one out and that's about as far as i go i don't actually read them but i can check that also tomorrow but i think it's birthday soup so all i've done is put my first bead down at the back and then 
blended it out over the mango tango and I'll probably just go in with another bead and then I will cap in clear not very descriptive am I do you know what I mean I never know what I'm doing oh I'm just capping in clear <laughs> I never know what I'm doing. I don't even know what I've done today. I'm like, oh, I've just got a relentless, like, I've just got a little re re relentless life. That's that's it. I'm just so tired all the time. Hence uploading and voicing over a video after midnight. I mean, who does that? Nobody. I've got to be up early again in the morning as well. So I just, yeah, this is it. Nails are my life. <laughs> so I've just cap that one off and I will quite possibly go ahead and do exactly the same thing to the pink as well in a second. So I've placed my pinching tool on that flower nail and now I've gone back in with my birthday suit at the cuticle area. I will pat that out and around and make sure it's nice and neat and then I will pull down the sides and then feather out the front of the, the bead into a nice ombre and then if I'm not happy with it I will generally go in with another bead if I am happy with it the first time then I will cap it just the blend usually I cap in clear unless I think that the apex needs to be bigger then I go in at the apex I've gone in with some more nude there I have no idea what I'm talking about <laughs> there you go I needed a little bit more obviously and now I will I have faith that I'm going in with clear yeah, there she goes. So it's um, clear ice and I'm just feathering that back and then pulling it down over my blend. All that's for is it adds to strength, but it's also so then I don't file away my blend. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. So once again, I'm going to go and do exactly the same to this nail as I did to the first flower nail. Um, and that is just go in with my random colours, pop on the glitter, pop on my flowers, cap it off in clear. And then I will leave you a little bit of my filing. I think I have left still. I might have cut the thumb out, you know, I might have been naughty because this video was like half an hour long. Um, I've tried to keep it at normal speed, but it did take me about 40 minutes to do this hand because I've got all the faff in that the prepping and then the clear base and then the colour and then the glitter and then the flowers and then the capping so it did take quite a while um so I have cut some stuff out one of the things I might have cut out is the thumb if I have the thumb is just another ombre but it's got the yellow on the tip um I'm going to leave you with this I'm literally going to do exactly the same to this nail cap it I'll show you the filing of the first two nails and then you will see my finished product as well Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and a like and subscribe. Um, welcome to everyone who's joined me and thank you to everyone who's staying with me as well. I love you all. See you soon. Bye.